danceable groove, soulful slow jams, and intimate bedroom pop. With influences such as Little Dragon, Erica Badu, Bjork, and Stevie Wonder, their music attracts all types of ears with funky grooves and soulful melodies. In 2018, they released their debut album titled Great Album, and this year they released the infectious single Russian. They're currently on tour through the Midwest with a stop tonight at the intersection, taking the stage at 8 p.m. Please welcome to WYCE's Studio X, Great Time.
time live at WICE Studio X. The trio is made up of Jill, Donnie, and Zach. Thank you so much for coming in. Welcome to Grand Rapids. Thank you for having us. How's tour? How's tour going? It's going good. We've never been to the Midwest before. I've never been to Michigan. Well, we've been to the Midwest. We haven't played in the Midwest. I mean, I have never (laughs) been to the Midwest. Until two days ago. Well, yeah. Until two (laughs) days ago. (laughs) It's a lovely place. Well, we welcome you. Um, you guys actually met at uh, the at the new school uh, in yep. New York City. Uh, mm-hmm. You all were jazz majors. We were. Uh, what were your uh, <laughs> your your instruments of choice? Like, what did you major in there? Uh, acoustic, upright, bass, double bass, uh-huh. <laughs> jazz, drum set, performance, <laughs> jazz, alto saxophone, performance. And you guys <laughs> just met, and you started jamming, and something clicked, and you yeah. here we yeah. are. That's the short form right there, yeah. <laughs> Just mess, messing around in practice rooms. Right. What was it about the chemistry between you three that uh, where you guys kind of looked at each other and said, this this might be something Honestly, here. I feel like I remember the, the moment we looked at each other. We were in a practice room. We were on the second. We were on the fourth floor? No, fifth floor. We were on the fifth floor, and we were just jamming. It was my first time playing music with them, and... Um, we just were like grooving and we were not playing jazz, mm-hmm. but that was kind of the cool thing about it. But we were all like kind of well versed in that language. So we had this kind of understanding and then, um, yeah. And it just like stuff was coming out and, um, I don't know. I just I looked at you and I just remember being like, I want to do this forever. <laughs> when was, when was this, when were you all uh, attending new school in New York? This would have been 2012. Yeah. We, yeah, 2013 is probably when, because it was winter of 2012. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you come from different parts of the country to just go to school in New York? Where are you all from? Uh, Seattle. Okay. The Bay Area. Okay. I'm just outside of Philly, although I went to high school in Michigan. So Did you? Oh. Where? Oh. Yes. Uh, Traverse City, I went to oh. Interlochen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we, Interlochen. <laughs> we know the Interlochen people I'm getting well. big thumbs up from behind the glass. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I think it's great. You guys are obviously, if, you've, if you're looking in on the uh, Facebook, Facebook Live video, you're obviously gearheads. Um, you have uh, lots of instruments going on. You've got flute, saxophone, samplers, drum kits, and all of that. Now, what happened to your, your wrist? Oh, <laughs> it's not a cool story, but I just <laughs> lifted a piece of wood the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Donnie's using one, one hand today, one yeah. arm. Def Leopard style. Yeah. 
Yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, it's an ongoing injury that hopefully is uh, getting to become less of an issue if I'm more careful from here on out through the rest of my life. So that's the goal. Well, hopefully, because uh, you're going to kind of need that. Uh, yes. Indeed. Well, that left hand, right? Death Leopard. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. They just yeah. got inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I'm sure a right? lot of it had to do with his perseverance of continuing on after that uh, accident yeah. and where he lost right. his arm. Inspiration of one arm drummers everywhere. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so last year you released an album called Great Album. Yes. Um, and then you've released a fantastic single, which we have at the in our WYCE singles library called Russian. Uh, it's got such a nice groove. It was a great, like, it's almost like a great summer song. Of course, if you look outside, it's not very <laughs> summery right now, although the sun <laughs> is shining. Uh, but it's just got a great, nice feel to it. Um, but while I was reading up on you guys, I uh, was m- really fascinated by, you guys have converted a, s- a farmhouse into a studio on the, out, like, in the sub, where is it? It's on the outskirts of Philadelphia, mm-hmm. correct? Yeah. Talk to me about that, because it's uh, really a beautiful studio, um, how did that idea come? And because um, you did a Kickstarter campaign to help kind of get it going, um, but it's a fully functioning farmhouse studio that you guys have built basically from the ground up. Talk to me about that studio. So it started with my dad's business building, and then he slowly kind of moved to the upstairs, leaving the downstairs vacant. And I think. Partially, that was because my parents wanted the drum set out of the house. Mm-hmm. So we moved down the hill. I'd move my drums <laughs> and stuff down the hill. I would uh, play with my cousin in that room. And it just was a conference room for a really long time. And then when we met in college, it started actually getting converted into a studio. And then the Kickstarter was like the big push when we all knew we were going to move in after graduating um, to actually turn it into like a real recording studio. Yeah. So we yeah. added like... 2,000 square feet or something mm. in the... So, uh, no, I think it's like 1,100. 1,100 square feet. Like yeah. a, big, a big new mix room and like, yeah, just new more recording space. Yeah, vocal booth and just um, drum booth. And we wanted a space for not only ourselves to create music, but for our peers and for people that, um, that needed, you know, a recording space that wasn't going to break the bank mm-hmm. and just be, you know... I mean, in living in New York, we would... You could pay how much... Like five a lot. grand, like just for like just a mm-hmm. set of hours, you know, a day, and and you have that one shot. So yeah, it's, we wanted it's to be rushed and like yeah. Yeah, and so it's really comfortable. You get here and it's like, you know, it's on a farm, and mm-hmm. people always, you know, they walk in and they're like, I feel so relaxed, mm-hmm. ah, and that's what we want. Just feel comfortable, and and we like to help them kind of create and um, just assist since we are creators and artists. Um, just we know what we want when we're recording and and the vibe that we want. So we want to just give that to other, you know, people coming through the studio. Um, but it is also cool that we live there and, you know, at two in the morning when it's like, I have this idea, mm-hmm. I have to record. You could just so. go on Because Jill's always up at two in the morning. Yeah, well, the you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when the creativity hits, you yeah. know, you got to Was go I right? It was a <laughs> 2 a.m. or anyway. Well, that song's not really released yet. It's a really great space. Uh, how can people find out about, um, is it called the Great Time Studio? Like, what's the studio called? I yeah. mean, it's called Great Time Studios, but we, you know, we're putting Great Time, the band, mm-hmm. sort of on the forefront. But if, you know, reach out to the band mm-hmm. on, you know, greattimeband.com. Yeah. yeah. We don't necessarily go looking for studio you know. renters. It's a lot yeah, of right, word yeah. of mouth. Yeah. It's a lot of, like, yeah, can, you know. Which is well, fun because yeah. we have we know a lot of musicians and all of them need to record at some point mm-hmm. and a studio owned by musicians kind of takes a different approach mm-hmm. that's a little bit more comfortable and laid back and yeah it's great it's a really cool um, space and and yes. land and it just looks like it's a great place to create art and music and get those vibes out and <laughs> and, oh, yeah. and enjoy uh, some creativity in a really nice environment. <laughs> um, uh, they're playing tonight. Great Time is playing tonight at the intersection at 8 o'clock. They take the stage. Again, you can find them at greattimeband.com. Uh, can we hear one more song? <laughs> hmm. Yes. Well, if you, if you really want. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do? Uh, an encore? Can we call it an encore? You can call it an encore. Uh, okay. We won't, but. I, some of your listeners might r- right recognize this tune. It's a little bit different than what you may have heard, but we're going to play it. Great time live at WYCE. I was 
making Philly proud. The trio, great time, will be performing tonight at the intersection at 8 p.m. Uh, after this little run, they'll be uh, doing some dates with Turquoise, another one of our favorite bands here at WYCE. So good luck on that. Thanks so much for coming in Thank today. You. Thank you. All Thanks right. for having us. Back to Rebecca Ruth in the studio. <laughs> 